I'm Tanya Fisson. Today we're going to show you how to make an awesome herb spiral garden in a pot. Now why on earth would you want a spiral herb garden? Well, number one, it looks funky, and number two, you can fit a whole lot more herbs in the garden than if you were just planting them directly into the pot. This is what you're going to need to make your herb spiral pot. A roll of log edging, which is the smaller size, a nice wide rimmed pot, two bags of potting soil, some superphosphate, some good organic fertilizer, and of course your herbs. The tools that you're going to need for this is a spirit level and a small garden spade, as easy as that. My pot is in place and I'm ready for my first step, which is to add in a bag of potting soil. Once that's in place, add in a handful or two of superphosphate or bone meal, depending on what your preference is, and of course a handful of organic pellets. Mix that in thoroughly, and then we get to start with using our log edging. Take the log edging, and pop it in, and as you've placed your first circle, because remember this is eventually going to literally just be built up like that using the potting soil. So we need to get this first guy into place, and the way that we do that, this first outer circle, by putting it in there and then backfilling with some of our potting soil and this helps it to stay in place and this potting soil mixture that I have here has already got our bone meal or superphosphate in and of course our organic pellets once we've backfilled the outer area you then need to lift the center part and add in a bit of soil, obviously, because we need to raise it slightly to create that kind of ice cream cone full of gorgeous ice cream look. <laughs> as you can see, we've started with the base of our log edging. And as we started putting that to create our first circle, then you'll notice we started lifting it. And as you're lifting it, you can literally go as high as you want and then all you've got to do is backfill into the spaces. And the backfilling is what enables this little guy to stand up straight and to get your height. Once that's in place, you can then simply go and fill in your gaps over here, not all the way to the top, because remember, we've still got to put plants in here. I'm happy with this. I'm getting my height that's desired. And you can see it really is a simple exercise where as if we just planted into the pot, we'd probably only get six or seven herbs in here. But when we start planting it, you'll see that we'll probably get three times that amount of herbs because we've got the height and extra planting space. Once you've got your basic spiral in place, which is obviously the pot, our log edging, and the backfilling, we can then get started with the plants. Choose herbs that you are going to enjoy, especially if you're going to be getting into cooking. So don't choose something weird and wonderful that you're kind of going to be a bit nervous about using. So I've got a collection here of some beautiful plants like some mint, I've got some parsley and some awesome lettuce because they work really nicely as fillers. And to show you just how simple it is, we're going to start with the bottom section because that's how we're going to work in terms of our spiral because obviously it has to start right from the base. So, just squeeze the little baby out the pot and then you pop it into the edge like that. Start with those and as you start moving around then you'll start planting into these little gaps over here. When you get to the gaps it is pretty easy. What you want to do is make sure that you've filled them in halfway and it's then that you can start putting in your smaller little fillers like some beautiful lettuce that will go on in your garden for up to three months, giving you awesome fresh lettuce leaves. Pop those in there. I've got a lovely thyme plant. My thyme plant could go over here. And of course, because I've got this lovely top of, my, of the spiral here, I could plant a beautiful mint in there, which is just simply going to cascade and look absolutely gorgeous. So let's pop that little baby in there. and then backfill it. The most essential 
part of this whole garden of building your spiral garden is just to make sure once you've put the soil in that you take the back end of your trowel and simply just firm it in to make sure that you've covered all those little air gaps and away you go you can mix and match and create anything you're really wanting let's go and show you one that we did a little earlier and that's been growing for a few weeks back in my garden Take a look at this baby, planted just a few weeks ago in a nice wide rim pot. Here is my log edging and you can see as the herbs are growing, so you hardly even get to see this, but you still get that beautiful height. In here I've got nasturtiums, basil, strawberry, even some oregano and a bit of thyme, looking wicked. Go and make one yourself. Remember everything that you need is available from your local builders and it looks great and it really is easy too. And remember, everything that you're going to need for today's project is available from your local builder's outlet.